Huh? What the hell? Igor, come on! I just I just beat Okamura in the last part. Like we made a and uh, calculation, inmate. Welcome back everyone for the next part of Persona 5 Royal. Um what do you mean with miscalculation? Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Ah! So that was your what powers you mean. continue nice. to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. I guess that's good, right? It's going well. You are quite the cautious one. Of course, Allow always. Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> uh, what are you trying to tell us? What? Morgana! It's that cutscene again! Uh, 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 dream again! What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I... There's no way I was born like that. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of mementos. This is going to take a while though, right? <laughs> Not going back to the memento with all the good requests piled up, you know? So... Well then. Well then. It was the unexpected start of the part. Now, since we have so much free time, 18 days, I guess it's about time that we do the same stuff as with Futaba. Which means... Confident, overconfident, overconfident, overconfident. And also, in between this part and the other parts, it was one evening I had to do something, and I played a little game. And it turns out, actually, I managed to get, let me see, I <laughs> managed to get charm to max. So not that you guys are surprised why suddenly my charm's on the max level. It just happened with one little game of punch out. Anyways. Off we go to the confidence. So, my rookie, after forever, are you finally ready to Welcome. do another session uh, with me? Yes. Because so. it's been really, it's been a long, long while since the last time we had a chance to build up our confidence. And I would really like to boost up my flow, so help him out. Thank you. Thank you, Narakun. Oh, since we have time, I was hoping we could talk at the cafe you're staying at. You gotta visit my home? I'm a big fan of their coffee, but then again, you did visit Futaba, Let's right? Head out now. I get rest, then we can get over. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure Sotaro is going to enjoy your. I'm where's sorry. boss? Wait, where's my boss? Huh. Anyways, um, sorry for coming over out of the blue. It's fine. You must have a real snack for coffee, Narakun. This is fantastic. <laughs> well, I got teach by the best. Uh, we got curry too, if you want. Ooh, I love to try some, but I think I'd better restrain my uh, restrain myself for now. You see, it's about the research we've been discussing. I'm actually putting it together in a paper. It's been really pressing you lately, thanks to no sp uh, small part to you. But I feel like I've hit another wall. So I'm sorry to bother you, but I I'd appreciate it if you help me talk through this again. Sure. It's a deal after all. Thank you. Thank you. I really do rely on you, Narakun. It's alright. Uh, in deepening our understanding of the heart, I wanted to find a meaning of helping those who have hurt uh, who have been hurt by traumas. Right. I already told you that was the point of my research, right? Yeah. It's thanks to you that my project has come this far. And? <sighs> but because of all that progress, I've realized the problem. One that may not have any solution. And that would be what? Even if my research makes a great stride, even if we do find some miracle way of healing psychological wounds, with the way things are now, I can only save the people directly within my reach. Hmm. You need more than that? True, I guess. It's better than not being able to save anyone, but I can't just be satisfied with that. 
I mean, there are so many people out there suffering so badly, they can't even speak up and let the pain out. This is a painful, cruel and bitter world. And there's only so much one individual can do to fight against that. I've said it before, working as a controller only makes me makes that more painful obvious. I think our I think our current way of doing things just isn't enough. Okay, and how no, do you want I... to change that? Deep down, I I don't think it's enough that I could then I can just help people around me. A few people out of a billion. I want to help more people overcoming their suffering. Pain can strike the heart in infinite diverse way. In turn, we have infinite method by which we can try to treat it. And like I said earlier, there are people who need help desperately but can't ask for it. They can't even share their pain. You if we had a full understanding of a human heart and an effective treatment to suit it. I don't think that would be enough to finally beat trauma. And I guess that's what I ultimately realized. So, that's a hard question. Mm. So what can we do? <laughs> I haven't been able to get this question out of my head, but I don't have any answer. I'm not used to that. If we could peer into the heart of every person alive, diagnose, understand, and then remove the root cause of the pain, it sounds like something out of a dream. Peer into everyone's heart? Um, let me put it this way. Counseling takes time before, because you have to really listen to each individual person, right? Yeah? I just think it'd be better if there was some way to really understand everyone's cognition more quickly and accurately. Everyone's cognition? Oh! We're not going to We are not going to take him to Memento. Get that thought out of your mind! <laughs> More importantly, what is this memento? It's about time you start to explain. Memento is everyone's palace. Think of it as the co co collective unconscious. No, never mind, you wouldn't understand that. We are not taking him there. Then again, that would be impossible. Maybe truly understanding all people's hearts is beyond human capacity. Narakun, did I say something wrong? Uh, what if they are connected? <laughs> Where's this coming from? Sure, they can connect, but... No, wait. Oh, You're right! My god! You're right! That's it, Darkun! So everyone is connected after all! <laughs> the collective unconscious. If people's hearts are connected in the unconscious, their senses are shared subconsciously. And... It's so simple! Why didn't I realize it before? <laughs> yes, right, and if I can combine this with the theory I verified, I can tie it all back to cognif uh, cognitive science too! Uh, calm down, please. You still have a coffee uh, to drink? Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, but I think you just helped me make a major breakthrough. I think this means something big for my cognitive science research. I need to hurry and get it down on paper! <laughs> I knew it'd be worth bringing it up to you. Thank you, Narakun. I swear to repay you for this. Ah, uh, you're welcome, I guess. All I was mentioning was Momento in a slight regard. All right. Well, bye, Maruki. All right then. <laughs> well then, I need to get out. See ya. Uh, of course, it was so simple. He, he always leaves after boosting up my confidence. Huh? Oh, uh, Narakun. Sorry for the rush out, uh, rushing out, and uh, so suddenly and uh, earlier. <laughs> Heavy breathing, huh? Um, what's going on? Sorry, I end up running to the station on sheer adrenaline. <laughs> you run the whole way to the station. I didn't realize I was this out of shape, though. <laughs> anyway. Anyhow, um, you helped me come to a major realization. The answer was right in front of me, and I couldn't see it. All I need to do now is to focus on my paper. After all your help, I'm going to finish it for your sake too. Seriously, thank you, and bye. Bye, Maruki. Was nice knowing you. Hopefully you're not dying from that little sprint. Oh, uh, seems like Beck is finally ready to have another level up. Okay then. 
Hey, something unbelievable just happened. I'm so surprised I don't even know where to begin. Calm down, calm down. I'm here for you. There's something I want to ask you about as well. You request me today, won't you? Sure. Does it still going to cost me like 5k? I mean, I'm fine with that. But still. <laughs> Thank you. Just put, uh, just stay put in your room. Sure. Let me just quickly go home because I had to visit the velvet room with a quickie. Hey there. It's always troublesome if I don't have the right persona at hand. I'm so glad you requested me. I have big news. Uh, takashi -kun's guardian came to my house today and apologized to me. Really? They told me I won't have to send any more money and that I return everything I paid to them. That's perfect. I like the- it's like they're completely different people. Like what happened with Mr. Kamoshida. Oh no. Are you on to us? Hey. You wouldn't be, um... Huh? Anyway. <laughs> it's such a relief. The apologies about uh, Takasuku. And I admit that what they did was terrible. They even told me that I'm a good teacher. And so I decided to really quit my part and wait job today. I've been talking to my boss about it ever since I, hospital uh, since I was hospitalized. It took a while to work out who covers my shift. I didn't want to inconvenience anyone, right? Well... Now I can finally make a fresh start as a teacher. I can take care of my student and earn their trust. That is the idol teacher I aspire to be. I bet I'll be a, I'll be an old woman by the time I achieve my dream. Aww. That's nonsense. You're gonna reach it much earlier. Yeah, you're right. I'm still within the demographic age range of what is considered young. <laughs> of course. I was always able to rely on you, Master. You helped me come to a lot of realization because you were such a good listener. Thank you again. Oh, crap. Huh? What's up? Thank you for using our service. Oh, please, not that face. <laughs> Why that face? Today marks the day I graduate from being your mate. Uh, thank you for your services. <laughs> thank you for your hard work as well. Well then, I guess sir, uh, my bond has grown yet again. Now I only need one more level and then she's right. maxed out. Well, Kamagami, so, are you ready? Um... At any rate, what are you going to do once I stop coming here? Can you handle the cleaning on your own? I'm pretty worried about the state this place is in. I feel like you don't put much thought into your diet either. Besides, won't you be lonely? Hmm? Well, I, I want to keep seeing you. I'll take it to get lonely easily. Well, I wouldn't say lonely, I still have Morgana around, but still, you help me out quite a lot. You clean my clothes, you make my curry. You make my other stuff, like coffee. But you shouldn't say stuff like that so casually, okay? Some woman may misunderstand your intention. Oh. Oh. Are we on that face again? You don't want to give anybody the wrong idea. That would... That could really hurt someone. Got it. Don't worry. Got it. That was pretty honest of you. You're quite a good child, but you're still a good person. I protect you at your, as your homeroom teacher. Oh, and of course, I keep my initial promise too. The one about slacking off in class. Thanks! See you later. That's perfect! That means I can read even more books during my school lesson <laughs> lessons. Hmm? Hi, thank you for today. Uh, on my way home, I remembered everything. All the old memories from when I decided to become a teacher. Like when I was going through the course of... Uh, uh, cost for it of my first year as a teacher back then I wouldn't I would have done anything for my student I felt like I was capable of anything But somewhere along the way I forgot about all of that Regaining your original resolve is easier said than done Hmm, I'm sure you can do that Thanks Somehow when I hear it from you it feels <laughs> it makes me feel like I can do anything Weird, huh? From now on, I support you as your teacher, so you can rely on me as much as you want, okay? Thanks! That's all I want to say. Okay, I'll see you at school. Good night! Bye, Takumi! No, wait, not Takumi. Oh my god! Kamagami! 
And since we are already at it, oh. how about we also max her out right away, shall we? Um, not as your maid, but as your teacher, could I visit LeBlanc later today? Of course! This what is going to be our do? last time, but call her over. Okay. Okay, I'll head over right away. <laughs> Kamagami. Finally, we reached Sorry, our late. max rank. The student asked me for some advice as I was leaving. And I almost forgot that I don't need to read anything about that. How how comes that the first star and the last star are always so special? That's actually been happening a lot lately. I wonder if they see me in a new light now. I Maybe. need to work hard so I can make up for all the times I let my students down in the past. Hmm, I'm glad to hear that. Apparently they like that I'm not too serious. I guess my laid-back personality is coming in useful. So, um... Mm -hmm. Now, this is coming from me as your teacher. An awful thought occurred to me the more I spent time with you. And I can no longer overlook such a grave danger. What do you mean? You... Huh? ...are way too lax when it comes to your diet. You need to be more serious about your nutrition. What are you talking about? All I eat is curry. It basically has everything. You just need to add a few more vegetables. <laughs> and then I also have some vitamins. In the state of your room, you need to stop slacking. I mean, look at how dusty this place is. Oh, come on. It's I not so bad. because you are my client, but you need to thoroughly clean in here. Um, sure. But same goes to you. I mean, I heard you also I'm only eat noodles. I'm currently in the process of eating better myself. I only have cup noodles every other day now. Uh huh. There are just some things you have to prioritize over your studies, you know. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. And that would be You're what? You're a member of the Phantom Thieves, right? What? Wait, wait, wait! No! What are you talking about? <laughs> that whole thing with Takase Kun's guardians worked out way too good for me. And you're the only one who knew about my situation. Oh, shoot. Uh, so, um, so what if I am? <laughs> hmm, well... Don't worry, I have no intention of telling anyone. <sighs> Good. 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 I was worried for a second, but then again, I helped out so much. And she tried to help me out so much, so I guess, uh... We're in the same boat, right? There are a lot of stories about the Phantom Thieves, but in the end, they help people like me, right? That's so you. I just thought you were a problem child with a criminal record, but now I know better. I'll support you 100%. You're not just a student to me. You're someone special who helped me realize my path as a teacher. A new path where I'll never abandon any of my students. That's good. That sounds very promising. Right? For my students and for you. Hopefully uh, this isn't going to cause any problem for her later. Because uh, she is helping out a uh, criminal. I am Technically, thou. from the police thou point of view. I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Ah! Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of temperance, granting thee infinite power. Infinite power and special massage. You cast the massage after going into a metaverse, letting you go out at night. Does it mean I'm never stuck at home ever again? I can just uh, get a massage and then I'm able to leave again? All right. Oh, this is going to be promising. All right. And I can make uh, a... At a no idea what that is. Special massage! You, are, you can now use the phone at LeBlanc at night to ask Kawagami to give you a special massage. Special massage will remove exhaustion and allows you to go out tonight, at night, even after venturing Memento or a palace. I'm never stuck again! I can do whatever okay, I want from now on! It. 50 terms, go! Huh? What? I don't want you to flunk your exams! I never I'm flunk my exams! Distance with you. I have max knowledge! There's no way I can fail! Oh, come on, Kamagami! Oh, I grew tired all of a sudden. 
Hey Makoro, it's been a long time. How about we spend some time together? Because uh, you've been on level 1 for quite a while. And since I kind of need you to be a little bit higher level, at least give me a little bit of protection with Endure, would be useful. <laughs> I feel like my bond with Makoto will grow strong soon. Well then, let's hang out. All right then. Well then, let's take the train. No, I'm gonna get, go around for a walk. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Of course, of course. Now, Makoto, are you ready for the red mm. lights in the district? There are so many people here. I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? And apparently this place was a hotbed for criminal and illegal, illegal immigrations before they installed surveillance camera. I heard there was quite a few bordels as well. Oh, well. You're very well informed. Yes. Well, I heard a great deal about it but from my father and all. This is the first time I actually been here myself though. So please stay close to me. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course, the surveillance camera played a sub uh, substantial role in that. But this was mainly thanks to the police efforts to cleaning up the area. Right. <laughs> Even so, there's no way to erad eradicate crime entirely. It seems the uh, operations nowadays are only better hidden. Shall we go? Anyways, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look around. Sure. Uh, what exactly are we looking for again? Because it's been a while and I don't really remember the request Makoto had. <laughs> At Makoto's request, we walked separately through Shinjuku. And... Countless men tried to start conversation with her. Oh no! Oh no! Maybe you should have stayed with me. Um, did we lose him? The guy was so persistent. Oh my. Oh, man, he must have been a scout for a hotters club. He mentioned how his girl get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted to ask was if any children student worked there. And he nearly dragged me inside with him. If you hadn't been there to rescue me, I... Well... That was dangerous. You should stick around with yes. me. For him, maybe? <laughs> I thought I was going to have to knock him out. Alright, you can... Uh, Kung Fu, right? You can use Kung Fu or how... No, wait, what was it called? Oh well. I'm glad nobody had to get hurt, though. Right. I guess that's how they do it. I've learned something new today. Thank you very oh, and much. thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope I can do the same for you someday. Oh, you already did. I can sense quite a resolve for Makoto. And with that, finally, we are level 2! <laughs> oh, my poor Makoto, I need to spend much All more right. time with my teammates. They are way too low leveled. Becky is level 10! And she was only level 1! <laughs> that aside... Even though this is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here. And definitely no choosing students. Though I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either way. Well then, let's get out of here. Huh? What uh what are you spotting? Oh my god! Oh my god! Seriously? She wasn't even hiding it! That was... Did you notice this? I used to be in the same class as her. But why is she here? How about we enter and... S I can't read that. The after school salon. What kind of place is that? Hmm. I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. And I'd like for you to be there too. As my witness, okay? Would it be okay? Of course! But that's weird. Well, we spent quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. Of course. All right then. Thank you for the day. Uh, are you going to give me a call? Maybe talk a little bit more about the situation? How is the plan? Do we just pursue her in school or... Hmm? Hey, um, I wanted to thank you again for Frank tagging along today. Oh, you're welcome. It was the first time I've ever had to deal with a baker. A barker, I mean. I didn't know they could be that resistant. Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess nothing beats practical experience. I couldn't agree more. Honestly, I've realized I could solve this problem on my own. It took what happened today to make that clear. 
Right. I also planned on looking into the children student we saw there. It'll be great if you can help me with that sometimes. For now, see you later. Bye, Makoto! Until next time! So, Maruki, I guess this is another time for us to actually increase our bonds. Let's go see him right away. Thank you. I look forward to it. See you at the no surface. <laughs> Maruki. <laughs> so, uh, what do we well, do today? Shall we begin? Wait. We'll... Well, <laughs> let's get started. For today's topic, let's see. I'd like to hear your opinion on these Fanta Feasts of Hearts. Why would you want to talk about them? <laughs> For, to me! The one who steals the desire of a criminal and reportedly forced them to confess. Well, we are not forcing them. They confess on their own because their spirit is broken. Maybe it's a little hard to believe, but I guess I've taken the ad academic interest in them. Hmm. Well, that is quite dedicated, I guess. He likes it, okay? Uh, I don't know about that. I just have a gut feeling, you know? But I get the feeling the Fender Feasts work... Uh, the Fender Feasts work and my own research are rooted into the same principle. You think? That is why I've decided to analyze them from my own perspe uh, perspective. For example, there's a matter of their methods. Uh -huh. According to those calling cards, they sent out... Uh, they sent out. Their state method is to steal your desire. How is such a feat even possible? Any idea? Uh, as in removing them, right? Removing them? As if there's something material rather than abstract. Well, you don't know what I know, but it turns out if you give them a calling card, their desire to turn into some kind of object, you know? <laughs> So, they basically steal desires by taking some tangling form for them. Hmm. Well, in that case, I suppose it would be possible if you could find some physical proxy for a human desire. Well, it, the desire just turned into something. And that's how we steal it. Narcon, do you remember that story of the cookie? In that experiment, the desire for the cookie actually changed the way the people taste them. I think we can look at it the same way as the heart thing, probably. There's not, uh, they are not something easily perceived, but desire have a tremendous effect on our cognition. Right. But another way, if that desire is gone, your cognitive perception of the cookie goes back to normal. So does that remind remind you of anything? The change of hearts. Right. That is right. The fantasy is. Uh, defend the Feast's own change of heart. That is the basic of my theory. The theft of desire is not metaphorical, but something more direct. Right. We still don't know exactly how they steal their desires, of course, but if the idea of physical tangling desires can be actualized, I think it will be logical for them that they can be taken away. Right. In a world of entanglement, let's say a world composed of the content of a people's heart, well, they are thieves, so if they could perceive a world like that, they could steal desires like any other treasure. Hey Narakun, you think I'm getting anywhere here? Well, it's intriguing, and you're getting closer to the main point of the game, I guess. I mean, we are doing it like that. There's a world where the desire is forming into some kind of object, and that's how we change a person's art. But basically, you're getting in the right direction. You think so too, Narakun? If it's actually anywhere close to the truth, it's, it'll be incredible. Then again, we probably never know for sure unless we can we could ask one of the Phantom Thief themselves. <laughs> you're speaking to the leader! You just don't know about it yet. Hmm. I think I can construct a solid hypothesis now. It feels like I've just I'm just one step away from finishing this paper. Thank you. Thank you, Narakun. You're welcome. With that, level Wait, what was it? Seven? Seven! The flow boost! Receive a chance of flow succeeding. Alright. So that means uh, it's a higher chance the flow activates. Right? Right? Now, today's mental training techniques. How about something like that? 
Right! Finally! Right. Five SP! Thank you very much! Oh, and here. Never, never a bad time for snack, right? A phantom wafer. Um, well, thank you very you. much, I guess. I hope we can chat again sometime. So, Sorcero, alright, I'm my boss. How about we spend some time together? I just saw that you're going to give me the mastery of coffee, which means I can make even better coffee than before, right? I have time today, right? I mean, you have time today. Help me out with the coffee. Sure. And with Barrett's, I have the ability to boost up a little bit more than usual. Oh, the regular will be here any minute. Right. I should better get ready then. Ah, it's that lady again. <clears throat> Don't you ever get lonely, Sochan? You've been a bachelor for so long. Um, have you given up on marriage? <laughs> well, you did become a father. All I want is a relationship with a spicy stimulation, followed by something smooth, relaxing, comfort. And I can get both of those things from my curry and my coffee. That's enough for me. Hmm, he always dodged my question like that. He's so clever. By the way, what are your thoughts on Sochan's life of solitude? Hmm, I admire, I admire it. I mean, he's free all the time. You can admire it if you, if you want, but I don't recommend trying to follow in my footsteps. Anyway, the only thing I care about in my life is making sure my customers are satisfied. Nothing makes me happier than seeing people relax in here. Come back anytime, okay? Sure. Hey. Um, she seems especially aggressive today, huh? It would have been bad if she pushed any further. But I guess food service relies on keeping the right distance from people. Not too far and not too close. Right. Well, oh my god, it's that dude again. <sighs> just, you just don't know when to give up, do you? Well, I've just learned something very interesting. Futaba has been shut off from both school and society this whole time, huh? That's not good. That's not good parenting. Yeah. And what have you done to care for her? What is that supposed to mean? You know quite well what I've done. And it's about time you pay up. What? <sighs> Don't be ridiculous. Fudaba had a terrible life living with you. Plus, I already gave you most of the inheritance for custody. Is that still not enough for you? Well, we could figure that out in court. I wonder who would win. A blood relative or a mere legal guardian? Is that the father? Or maybe the uncle or something like that? You... Oh, and not to mention that kid you have here. I've heard all about him. His criminal record. Hey, 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 hey! Don't bring me into this conversation. If you bring me into this conversation, we're going to have a fight, okay? I'm gonna fight for this. The leaves us with a parent who won't let her go to school and a delinquent housemate on probation. Doesn't quite seem to be the best environment for Futaba. Now does it? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Good to see somebody knows their place around here. You don't have to apologize to him, you idiot. Come on. I take care of this. Get upstairs. I I <gasps> Futaba! <laughs> Sojiro, I'm hungry. <sighs> oh. Futaba-chan, long time no see. Get away from my girl! I... Futaba. See what I'm saying? She's a total wreck. This is clearly not a healthy situation. She's afraid of you, you idiot. She only like that because she saw you here. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. You can't beat me in court. So you may as well just give me the money. <sighs> well, I hope you reached the right decision by now. I hate this guy. And so I failed everything. I didn't get a single note out of the boss. That's bad. Um, Futaba, you should just head home for the day. I'll take you. Sojiro. Oh my god. I wonder what <sighs> happened between those two. Um... Futaba is okay. All that drama must have tired her out. She fell asleep right after we got home. That man is, uh, his, of course, uncle, not the father. After Futaba, I mean, after Futaba died, Futaba was passed around. All her relatives. This place was the last. He treated her like garbage. He never fed her, 
and forced her to sleep on the floor like an animal. He didn't even let her breathe. A bath, I mean. Once I learned that, I knew I had to step in. He couldn't stand for that kind of horrible treatment, so I decided to take Futaba under my care. Right. Even back then, he was whining about all the damn expenses. I threw some ca cash his way, thinking that would put the issue to bed. But now he's back for more. I don't even know how he managed to find me here. Maybe paying him was a mistake. Probably. But saving Futaba wasn't at all. <laughs> thanks. I never thought you'd be the one comforting me. Either way though, it's my fault Futaba didn't leave her room. I just didn't know how to help her though through it. And I'd make curry, leave it by the door and go. If not for you, I'd probably still be waiting for her to come out. Hmm. So if you ask me whenever I uh, deserve to be Futaba's guardian, my answer would be no. They say blood is thicker than water, right? I wonder what be, would be the best for Futaba. Of course not the sight of that creep! Didn't you see how she acted the moment she saw him? All those bad memories resurfacing in those little eyes? <laughs> Look at me, spinning my heart out to a punk like you. Though, it's kind of weird. For some reason, I just feel like telling you this stuff. It's like you're peering into my heart. <laughs> I guess there really is something special about you. Hmm. Sorcero. Well then, level 6! That was All quick. Right. Huh? Oh, it's already late, huh? I'm going home. I should be heading home. I s I'm still worried about Futaba. Don't stay up too late, you hear? Of course. And, uh, thanks. Oh, <gasps> three points of kindness? Oh, Sotaro, thank you very much. I never expected so many points. Usually you only gave me one point at a time. Hmm? Hey, um, Futaba is fast asleep. Didn't mean to get you tangled up in all this mess. Try it. I mean, is she okay? I'm, well, actually I would say calm down, but is she okay first? I need to know about her first. Sheesh, you gotta worry about yourself for one. No! That's the wrong way to do it. First you need to worry about the others and then you worry about yourself. I do appreciate it though. Anyways, don't worry about that guy. I'll find some way to deal with him. You're just keeping looking out for Futaba. Seems like you two are getting really hitting it off. So uh, that's all I have to say. Don't forget to look lock up before bed. Later. Bye. So, before I head over to Makoto, I must say, Maruki, how how comes that you lately want to meet me every single day? <laughs> I mean, come on, Maruki. It's nice that you finally want to catch up and all, but still, I need to spend more time with my teammates. Like Makoto over there, who's still only level 2, you're already level 7. So please, step down for a second. Well then, Makoto, I guess you want to talk about the student, right? That was the plan to begin with. Excuse me. Uh, Eiko Takano-san, you've been spending time in the red light district lately, haven't you? How comes you're on the phone if the school president is talking to you? Both myself and Raikun here saw you there. Based on where you've been heading, we assume you're working at a store called After School Salon. How was it working there? Well, what do you mean? It's just a normal cafe. They make me wear costume and stuff, but that's it. And I don't have to do anything weird, if you know what I mean. It's totally legit! Mm -hmm. <sighs> so you're sure nothing strange is going on? Yep, yep. The worst I get is some weird old guy crawling at me. I see. I see. Beyond that, though. Why are you working there in the first place? How are your financial, financial situation? Uh, fine. I mean... I can just ask my parents for cash whenever I want, so why do you even work there? <laughs> oh, I see. But they totally bugged me about what I'm buying if I did that, so that's why I work in that saloon. I got some good spending money there, plus the guy who came in there, like Mega Pamper Me. Mm -hmm. Mega Pamper. It's nice having people treat you like a special, you know? I'm sure a super honor student like you get that all the time. 
Anyways, are you gonna tell me you're an important witness today? Hold up. Doesn't that mean you two went stupid together? What's up with that, Miss President? Well, we have the wrong idea. We just we were just investigating. Yeah. Right. It was nothing more than a raid. I mean an errand. I asked him to accompany me on. Me on. At any rate, don't mind him. As for you, I don't plan on telling every anyone. Oh, I get it. So we are like uh, protecting each other's secrets. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh crap. And I just realized your boyfriend's been a rumored criminal. You're a real badass, Miss President. What? Well, um... I told you that's not how it is. I was just worried you were getting robbed up in some shady business. So I asked him for, him, for his support. Eh, whatever. By the way, I was wondering, is that a bushy barbecue pencil case? Hmm? All right, cute little panda bear. Huh? You know bushy barbecue? I did lot. I had like a tons of bushy stuff back when I was a kid. What a blast in the past! Wait, why is it so beat up? Well, it was given to me when I was still in elementary school. I like to buy a new one, but they stopped selling merchandise oh my god this is so hilarious the school student council president has an adorable pencil case why is it so hilarious it's just a pencil case it doesn't have to be just a standard thing like everyone else has around my image of you has done like a complete 360 today <laughs> um isn't that a full circle mm, i don't know i'm just really surprised I don't really like. I don't. I mean, you don't really look like the kind of person who'll be into that stuff. I mean, I always thought you were kind of like a robot, but I guess I just had to get to know you better. Hey, why don't we trade phone numbers? I wanna talk to you more about Bushibaru Kun and of course your boyfriend. We're not. Uh, oh, we're not together. Um... And how how comes you guys suddenly make friends? <laughs> Wait, he's not my boyfriend. <laughs> my God. Saved! Oh crap, it's this late already. I've got to get over to work. I sent you a ton of pics of my Pushy Maokun's collection later though. Bye bye! Good. Never need to talk like that again. Got that out of the way. <laughs> <sighs> she was all over the place. Honestly though, I'm in shock. She thought I was a robot. Beep boop. Sorry, I need to do this. <laughs> Don't tease me. Hey! Hey, it was just perfect! <laughs> you know, I believe that Takao-san said about me is how other people think as well. I thought I had changed up the incident with Kaneshiro, but perhaps it wasn't enough. Maybe. That aside, it, uh, it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct from myself. I'm going to try to look at things a little different from now on. Well? And, uh, well, I think that will help me break out of my shell. I hope you're ready. I'm going to show you how useful an older student can really be. I'm looking forward to that, I guess. Level 3. <laughs> Black Belt Talk. Oh my god. All right. This is going to be interesting, but then again, I almost never talk. I just force them to join me with brainwashing and all. Uh, I like to be... I mean, I will be interested to talk with Takao-san some more now. That I have her, uh, that I have her contact infos. Perhaps I can correct her misconception about you. And as always, I let you know if anything important happens. Thanks. I'll see you later. Well, see you later. So our next target is going to be Shihaya again, because she is able to boost up our overall gains. I mean, I got a boost for knowledge. I think I also got a boost for relationships. So. What could possibly be the next thing I could gain from you? I tried numerous times, but the Empress card keeps appearing. Last time I felt that you were being troubled with women, but I sense something different now. Anyway, please be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? Well, I would like to do another test. There's a lot I want to tell you. Please take a seat. Well then, let us board Thank you. and actually level up again. Oh, Shihaya. <laughs> I have a lot to show you today. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Look, 
mental training for sport and the builds of successful business from the ground up. I even have a book about the secret to being a good listener. It was written by the hostress of the club in Ginza. Just pick out which book to bring uh, to bring took me half a day. I have a ton more back at home. Uh, why did you bring books? I started using these as reference material for the advices I give to my clients. This way I can suggest a new alternative instead of leaving them resigned to their fate. Hmm. You are such you are quite a hard worker, I guess. Do you try to change fate yourself now? Of course! After all, I need to be able to advise my clients for their future self. Right. Anyway, what I really want to tell you is that I've arrived at a new fortune-telling philosophy. Those with strong conviction can in fact change the fate. Oh, and as for the people I sold holy stones to, I started reading their fortune free of charge. I like to return the money they gave me too, but um... But what? What's wrong? Well, uh... Am I interrupting something? What? Who the hell are you? Yokuda-san? It's been a while, Maiden. And um, what are you doing here? The chairman asked what, that I can't see how things are going. And who are you? Um, um, that's my apprentice. I haven't actually introduced him to the chairman yet. You're telling me you're so busy you need to hire an apprentice? Oh, um... Yes, he's been a wonderful help. I see. I guess I should have expected such a great foresight from you, Maiden. Now then, I should be going. Who the hell are you? Thank you for stopping by. I'm sorry you had to see that. Uh, who was he? Um, I suppose you could say he's my acquaintance. Anyway, it's a private matter now, son. Nothing you should be concerning yourself with. Are you so sure about that? Wait, are you perhaps worried about me? Thank you. Oh, I'm so touched, honestly. My luck really improved when you're around now, son. <laughs> I know. In return for that, I predict your luck whenever you want. My luck? I can sense she highest intense, intense motivation. With that, yet again, I can now deepen the bond with confidence of your choice. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh my, it's already so late. I should close up for the day. So how do I do that? Do I need to visit her during the day or is that something else I need to do? Is it something I need to do, do during the night? Does it cost time if I do it? Oh yeah, yeah. I need to figure that out. Hey. So our next confident is going to be Hifumi. And uh, between Hifumi and Ohaya, I kind of tried it out again. I mean, I visited her. There was no icon on the map, so I wasn't sure if she's even here, but she's actually waiting in the red light district during the evening. Even on days when she doesn't do any ver verification tests. And uh, she takes 5k for f affinity reading and yeah, I'm just going to give it a try with Ifumi. Let's see which kind of effect this is <laughs> going to have. Now then, I was happy to be able to see you in Hawaii. You came to see me today too, right? Um, do you have some time today? I'd like to request a match with you. Of course! Let's do this! Thank boost you very up much. with Ohaya and boost up with Kodama. This is going to be quite good, hopefully. <laughs> Thank you, I look forward to it. Hopefully, I'm, I'm serious. I would like to go. I would like to see that go quite well today. Ha! <laughs> you have been. Def oh, never mind! I already lost! The battlefield is mine. The ultimate Togo kingdom is complete. Nice. All of my pieces have been taken. Hifumi has been left me utterly defeated. Nice. But to think you could stay standing after being struck by my silver infinity sword. You've improved considering that you endured the climbing silver so early in the match. The determination I've sensed from you is real inspiring. I must think of a new move. I'm afraid you will surpass me one day if I don't stay sharp. Huh. Actually, I wonder about that. Maybe during the last die I finally have a chance to beat you? Well then, the, exhibi the exhibition match against the pro my mother was talking about has been confirmed. He's a very famous shogi player. Oh, 
I'm aiming to be the first woman to reach the pro ranking leech. I'm sure it will draw a lot of attention, especially after the article. However, I don't intend to lose. This is my chance to display my true skills. I'm... I mean, I confess I'm a bit scared though. Hmm. It may come down to luck, right? You're right. However, that also means I have the chance of winning, even though my opponent is a rank higher. To be honest, I'm not sure how well my skill will hold up against a true professional. All right. But I'm sick of being treated like an idol. I have to show them what I'm made of. Well then, I believe in you. We can do this. Thank you. So, um, there's a move I want to try out. Would you like to play another match? Of course. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Strategically placing your pieces in the enemy zone to increase your chance of getting gold. Be sure to use the tactic technique in your next move. For today, try and steal the pieces you want from me. Of course. And with that, my bond has grown yet again. Narikin! Earn double money if you if a battle is won in one turn. I'm not so sure if that's uh, useful because usually if I want to farm money, I'm just going to get them for free via right. talking, <laughs> right? So, uh, thanks anyways. Well then, let's begin the match. Right. I hereby place this golden mantle upon your shoulders. Don it with pride. I'll start. Come, lightning metaphors, golden promotion. Uh huh. Um, thanks for the knowledge. <laughs> oh, you fool me. Never change. Never change. Thank you for today. It's quite crazy how quickly you level up, and how crazy it is that Baruki yet again wants to spend time with us. I mean, it doesn't show on the phone, but if you go on the world map, wait. Like this. Do you see that? Maruki? I really need to spend time with Makoto. I'm very sorry, but Makoto needs to level up. She cannot stay on level 3. She needs to be level 4 or rather level 9. Preferably. I would really appreciate it if she's already level 9 and protect me from critical damage. But, uh, well, let's hang out yet again. Uh, well, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. So, uh, let's talk more inside. What's wrong? What is wrong, Makoto? Please. <sighs> so, uh, my class had a... I mean, my class had a practice entrance exam. And my score was significantly lower than last time. I'm concerned. Uh... Is the thief work distracting you? No. I was sure to set aside an appropriate amount of time to study. But Actually, the truth is, recently I've started to question the entire point of my education. What do I stand to gain from getting a good grade and living up to the higher expectation my sister had set for me? I spoke to Eiko about this matter as well, but the answer hasn't become any clearer. Eiko? Oh, the girl! Hmm? <laughs> you don't remember Eiko Takao? Um, we asked her about the job she had in the salon in Shinjuku? Anyway. We've been calling each other very often since we exchanged contact infos. Because of those calls, we've actually grown somewhat close. And? When I voiced my concern to her, she asked me how I was, have, how I would become beneficial for, from going to the top university. But I couldn't come up with a good answer. As for Eiko, her grades are not the best. But she claims she doesn't even think about that stuff. Apparently, her parents can use their connection to find her a job. Right. Hmm. But isn't that a little irresponsible? It is nice she can rely on her parents, but this is her life, not theirs. I guess that's just a different way of approaching things. Even at that, her vision of the future is still clearer than mine. Uh, don't you have a goal? Is there hmm. nothing you want to do? I used to think Doing what others expect of me was the best way forward. I was going to major in law just like my sister did. And after that, I would simply have had down whatever path society had made for me. So you I... didn't have a plan on your own at all. But everything changed when I joined the Phantom Thieves. I've realized now that there are more important things in life than being a prime and proper honor student. Honestly, 
I would have looked down on Aiko's line of thinking in the past, but I know better now. Oh, it's Aiko again? And? <laughs> she must have known I was talking about her. Lately, Aiko has been telling me whenever she's busy making up, uh, she's buying makeup and find a cute new outfit and all. That reminds me, she asked me the other day what hand cream I used. I sent her a picture and it apparently is the same friend they used in the nurse office at school. Hmm, that's adorable. <laughs> uh, I'm not so sure about that. She told me I'm like a middle-aged man in the body of a high school girl. <laughs> Regardless, that stuff works wonders for dry skin. And it's great, it has a great value too. But. Actually, my father used to use it all the time. Did I ever tell you he was a police officer? He detested the corruption in our society and worked tirelessly to bring it to justice. But despite his rough exterior, uh, exterior he was extremely gentle deep down. That reminds but, me. When I was little, I told him I wanted to grow up to be a police officer, just like he was. He was glad to hear me say that, but quick to the point out that he didn't want me to do something so dangerous. I had completely forgotten about that dream, to be honest. Hmm. Actually, do you still want to pursue it? I mean, it would be a good point. <sighs> I mean, it would be a new goal. We've been doing nothing so far, right? That's the problem you have. I don't know. I mean, I only barely remember it just now. Either way, after everything ha that's happened, I have no intention of working with the police. Besides, they're trying to stop the Phantom Thieves. What am I supposed to do? Arrest myself? <laughs> right? <laughs> that would be a little crazy. Hmm. I think I need to re-examine what my goal for the future are. Outside of just plain studying, of course. Thank you very you much. Know, it feels like I remember something important today thanks to you. I guess you could say my viewpoint has been broadened yet again. Glad I could help. At least she's resolved again. Ah, oh, finally! Finally, follow up! All right. She's getting some abilities! Makoto, really need to work on your abilities! Hey. When I met Eiko, I realized how narrow my viewpoint really was. I only just learned recently that a uh, chemistry is now called a kami solo, and a butt down sweater is a cardigan. Oh my god. Why does the same thing have to happen? Why does the same thing have to have multiple names? I guess in the end, I'm just becoming more aware of how little I really know. So, uh, please help me keep fighting back against the ignorance. Of course. I'll see you later. Thank you again for today. See you later. Bye, my girdle. Until next time. I'm not really sure if what I'm doing is the right choice, but since uh, this, uh, I always get an upgrade once I buy stuff and buy more stuff, so I guess uh, I'm just gonna continue doing that stuff. You spent over 100k! Your memory is now chaos. Now you can purchase all of our chaotic items. We reached our highest member rank. So this is our full lineup. We can't thank you enough. Yeah, basically I should throw money at him until I <laughs> completely ranked up. <laughs> your order will arrive soon. We understand your excitement, but we ask for your patience. We hope to see you again soon. Well then, I guess our next target is going to be Shihaya again. Um, because we're very, very close. To the 8th level, right? Chihaya. And from my comment that I already said beforehand when we started her confident line, it's very important to reach her to level 8. I'm not really sure what's going to give it, uh, uh, what we're going to gain from that, but someone told me I really need to get her to level 8. Now then, I've been waiting for you. You won't believe what happened. Something happened? Come on, talk about it. <laughs> now, please take a seat. What exactly happened? The thing is, Recently, my reputation has started to shoot up. A lot of my clients leave happy now too. I even managed to use my own power to alter some fate that at once seemed inevitable. Right? I suppose all you really need to change fate is a strong will. Like what you have. I wish I could do more though. Are you breaking your- I mean, are you on break right now, Mifune-kun? 
Huh? What? Uh, wait. That guy looks different than the last guy. Fuka Fukurai? Oh my god. Fukurai-san? Oh, so you are the apprentice. I've heard much about you. I've been wondering, why are you so interested in Mifuniku? Well... I'm doing research for school, <laughs> I guess. Well, we're trying to run a business here. Please finish this research of yours as soon as possible. What the hell? That aside, I have to commend your judgment in choosing Mifuniku. Her fortune are like his light, guiding lost lamb through the unending darkness ahead. Oh, um... um by the way, uh, Narasan, this man here is, uh... Fukurai san. He's uh, my the chairman of the ADB. Alright, you don't know about the ADB yet. It stands for Assembly of the Divine Power. Our goal is to relieve the heart of and mind of today's very souls via healing events and seminars. Uh-huh. We also sell holy stones. The well from which our divine power springs. You mean the piece of junk? You're the guy that sells the piece of junk. They are a large part of our business. Um, um, Fukurai-san. That reminds me. Yokuda-san was telling me you've been acting a little strange recently. More importantly, it seems you're starting falling behind on your holy stone sale quota. Is everything okay? Yes, uh, I'll cover the decrease in revenue with my fortune-telling fees. Um, Fukurai-san. I am... I'm not sure how effective these holy stones really are. Excuse me? Uh, well, uh, yeah, piece of junk. It's just a simple piece of salt. Do you remember how you showed up the way you were? You arrived here from the countryside, lost and confused? Do you remember who saved you when you were struck working in a CD club with no place to turn? It was me. Are you saying you no longer have to trust in someone who's done so much for you? That's not it. Then enough of the skepticism. Just focus on continuing your role as the Maiden of Relief. Read the fortune of those unfortunate souls who came to us and lead them to salvation with the Holy Stone. This has to be a joke, right? <laughs> There's no salvation for those who joke. Mm. I... You don't have a... Uh, you don't want things to go back to how they are, do you, Mifunakun? Don't you remember breaking down in front of me? Telling me how everyone called you a monster? If you don't carry your weight as a maiden of relief, you will be exactly that. A monster. Uh, leave her alone, you creep! Never, son. Fine. If you want to spend your uh, time fooling around with this kid, go right ahead. But don't forget, Mifunakun. The ADB is the only place you will ever belong. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Ah. <laughs> uh, I've never actually worked at the nightclub. I did get tricked into walking to one though. Anyway, the chairman is known for exaggerating details. You must think I'm weird, huh? All this talk about me being a maiden or a monster. Uh, you're actually just too higher to me. <laughs> you're not a maiden or a monster, you know? Nobody ever treated me so nicely before. But By the way, it was pretty amazing how we stood up to the chairman back there. I would never have been able to talk to him about the Holy Stone had I been alone. But your strength helped me to speak up. I need to be stronger like you more often. Right. But don't worry, as long as I'm around, nobody's going to bully you. Especially since we're only a level 6 yet and I All still right. need two more rank ups. <laughs> So, um, even so, the chairman seems serious about this whole holy stone issue. He'll make me pay a, a fine if I don't meet my quota. And there's a huge penalty for resigning from my post. I suppose my fate is impossible to change after all. Oh. Um, anyway, I should close up for today. Until Shihaya, next time. If you need money, you can just ask. I'm not going to buy a piece of junk again. I'm just going to give you the notion, you know? The notion. Um, sorry about today. I already know what I'm just doing is in order to change my fate. But whenever I face the chairman, I just can't find the courage to say what I need to do. Hmm. 
Just be honest with yourself, okay? Oh, you're absolutely right. Nothing will come from making excuses. I'm the only one who can change my weakness. You're so strong, Navasan. Aww. I'm going to think about all this a little more. Thank you once again for the day. i see you later. Oh, Shihaya. Don't worry. I'll stand by your side. He's not going to bully you again, sending some piece of junk to innocent customers. So, for our next target of the part, I guess Mishima, it's finally time for us to level you up again. I mean, you're already quite high level already, right? Let me just quickly check it out. Let me just uh, check out the bond. Already level 8, which means to level and then everyone is going to get the same XP as before. This is very promising, so let's do it right away. Hang out with him. And let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about this at the diner, okay? <laughs> I'd probably surprise you, but we can talk some more over there. Sure. What's this about, Mishima? <sighs> so uh, you remember those guys who beat Akiyama Kun up? Yeah. Well, it turns out they really were dangerous. I looked them up and found some serious, scary information. Okay. Apparently, they are part of a gang that involves in extorting stuff like that all the time. I wish I had known that going in. And one slip of a tongue at, in that act I pulled and I would have been dead. Ooh. But you showed some real courage. Don't forget <laughs> that. You really think so? But I pissed all over myself again while I was researching those guys. It's alright. Honestly though, you're amazing. You weren't afraid in the slightest. Maybe it's only natural after all the nightmares you've been through. Maybe. Hey, yo, Mishima! Hmm? Oh! Hey. Hey there. Poor, oh, it's really Mishima. Dude, right? Nobody else is this. Are they really going to bother him? Hey! You figured out what you're gonna do after high school? It's just. Um, not yet. How about military? Nobody ever noticed a zero like you stealthing around. Ha, <laughs> too true. I bet you could sneak in anywhere, huh? You'll be Japanese ultimate weapon. Shut up. <gasps> Wait, is he standing up for him? Something wrong? Not exactly. Come on, let's just forget about him. It's no fun messing with shit Mishima anymore. What do you mean, no fun? You're always the one screwing with him the most. I don't know. I guess I got tired of it. He's not even going to say anything? Um, hey, about before. I've been thinking, well, I should probably thank you. Huh? Something happened with you two? You know, you have been acting weird lately. Don't think I haven't noticed all the bruises you've got. I... No, no. Um, before? I don't really know what you're talking about. <laughs> he's, he's protecting you! Mishima? My bad. I guess it's about somebody else. You've changed, though. Hmm? I have? <laughs> Yo, glasses. I always see you two together. You've been coaching him, right? Exactly. <laughs> That's so. I'm kinda jealous. Anyway, see you later. Bye! Finally, you noticed that Mishima has grown up? Wait up, Akiyama! Looks like Akiyamaku's gonna be just fine. He's a pretty strong weird guy after all. And uh... Have I really changed? Do you think maybe now I'm starting to be like the fan of right. I'm gonna work even harder now. <laughs> to make sure I live up to your leg legacy. Ah, uh, you don't need to... Be so passionate about it. <coughs> Rank number 9! Right. Just like that! You know, I always used to think I couldn't amount to anything, but I somehow managed to step up and help Akiyama kun with those fucks. <laughs> it made me realize there really are things I can do to save guys. Right. That is why I've started writing a documentary on the Phantom Thieves. The research I did on that gang Akiyama kun was wrapping up in was actually what pushed me to do it. And now I'm basically putting together a massive log of all your activities from the fan side. And um, don't use our real names, okay? No. Oh, don't worry. I'm coming up with alias for all of you. 
If you guys have code names to, to use, those would work too. I could give you that. All right. At any rate, we should celebrate today. My treat. Screw the fountain drinks. Let's go straight for the fancy fruit suit. The juice. It's three times the price, so it gotta be three times better. Uh, what about Parfait instead? But I only have so much cash. If you wanna order anything else, then have to come out. It will have to come out of your own pocket, okay? Anyways, let's party until we have to go and catch the last train. Of <laughs> course! Sure! Woo! <laughs> oh, Bishima. Catch you later! And I guess for the final part of this part, we're going to spend our last confidence with Ivai. And then I really need to make a cut because the part is getting way too long! I guess this is going to be a two-parter like the last time. Oh well. Hey Ivai, what's up? Everyone has a secret about the PC and all. Come on, let's work! I need you to handle some uh, chores around the place tonight. Uh, today. No getting out of it. There's also something I want to talk about. Got time? Of course! Let's do it! What are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with Ivai? Of course! Good. Okay, get to work, you little gun nerds. <laughs> hey! I'm an enthusiast, but not a nerd. Alright. That's good for today. Oh, uh, but there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about that secret Suda, uh, that secret Suda mentioned. There's more to it than my, uh, oh my god, than, than my having been in the Yakuza. I just wanted to make sure you don't go saying something stupid if you run into Kaoru around here, okay? Sure. Back then, I was working with the Hashidi, Hashiba clan. Some crazy lady came running around our office. Must have been 10 years ago or something. She had this baby with her, and the whole time she was there, she kept going on and on about how she wanted to sell it. What? <sighs> Figured she was just some cracked up junkie looking for drugs. Oh, but then when I told her no, she set the baby down and ran off. Why? That baby was Kaoru. So basically, he's not even your real son. Thinking back on it, I'm still not really sure why I took him in. Not only did I have to leave the clan, but now I'm stuck running this shop. I don't even like. <laughs> Every day is an uphill battle. Right. I still haven't uh, I still haven't managed to tell Kaoru that I wasn't the Yakuza though. Hmm. You shouldn't lie to your son. Let me ask you something. How would you feel if you found out your parents were wrapped up in some dirty shit? That's how my mom was. She spent every night drinking, running around town with all sort of guys. I couldn't stand to see her destroy herself like that. Often I wish I could have made, had someone else as my mom. So I didn't want to make Kaoru go through the same thing. I wanted to make sure he had a good childhood. That is why I left the clan. I did everything according to the code, but now Suda is tracking my back. Once he remembered I run this fake gun shop, he came by asking me to make custom models for him. <sighs> Though he wasn't really asking, the bastard forced me into it by threatening to take her over everything. True is, Suda got all sorts of dirt. Not just one. Uh, not just on what happened with when Kaoru was a baby, but on me and the rest of the, my family too. Who knows what will happen if Kaoru learns the truth? Suda isn't gonna stop there though. I'm sure he's gonna do all. I'm sure he's gonna go on and tell everyone else he could. When it's all said and done, he's gonna try and take everything I have. Shit. If words gets out about my past, people are gonna threaten Kaoru like he's no different than me. After all. Everyone knows shitty parents end up making shitty kids. And once he got his once he got that stigma, he'll be stuck with it. When shit goes wrong, he'll always be the one who gets blamed. That's how it was with me. That's why I turned to you to Yakuza. Nobody else would accept me. That is also why I can't turn Suda down. He just got way too much power. Well, we're not going to call the cops. You're pathetic, I'm not gonna say. I guess you're kind, Levi. Huh. 
Don't give me that etc. bullshit crap. I ain't kin- <laughs> I'm in kind at all. Anyway, I was trying to stall Suda with bullshit prototype uh, types while I figured out a way to stop him. But that bastard's really gonna, gonna keep- Ah oh my god. It's really good at keeping his heart card close to his chest. Plus, he caught wind of what I was trying to do and started keeping a tap on me 24-7. Uh, oh no. Thankfully, that is just about when you showed up, kids. Really? Sorry. Sorry for bringing all this shit up out of the blue. You probably don't want anything to do with me after that, huh? Hey! Hey! Don't make assumptions. It's cool if you want to act tough and all, but don't forget to watch out for yourself, kid. Alright, just remember, I never gave you a reward for that info. You're right. How about I give you a discount on special menu? That could help you quite for a while. <laughs> Pretty good deal, huh? Pretty much. Thank you very much. Discount! Yeah! Right. Now I really need to upgrade all my guns sooner or later, so that the... Gun skills I get from Shihaya are actually going to be useful. <laughs> Damn, it's late. Should get to co going home, right? Koa's been eating a ton lately after cram school. He's probably gonna have a growth spot soon. Anyway, I'm closing up for the day. You should head home too. Right. Uh, thanks for the provisions. Until next time, Ivai. Later. And I'm going to make a cut here before I forget to say my bye. I hope you guys had fun with today's part, and in the next part, we're going to spend some more time with everyone until uh, finally the deadline is going to arrive. Until next time, bye!